Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This is going to be a second look at my favorite build for Hulkamania, Hulk Hogan Technomania. Um, I am going to run it again, and against the guy I can find with the highest health pool, the Fiend, he's got 2.13 million health, and we're going to take him down on turn one um, using this build, the Mutated Axe Bomber. Um, 7 MP green, deal 68k damage, and choose 6 gems to make into yellow gems. Mutated steel pythons combo, 7 MP yellow, deal 68k damage, and choose 6 gems to make into green gems. And the mutated atom atomic drop, deal 87k damage, and move the pin bar left by 5 notches. Uh, another thing I want to say is if you have a tier 4 metal, um, with uh, and you're using KO, you're going to be doing more than 600,000 uh, damage a cycle. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna take fiend down uh, in four cycles. We're gonna be doing significantly less than that because we're not strapped. And if you had a tier five metal, you'd be taking fiend. You'd be doing over eight hundred thousand a cycle uh, and taking fiend down in in three three cycles is all much much faster. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I am gonna take all my move damage trainers off. And I am going to run him with Beth, which would be perk proof in Feud. So you, you could uh, make sure that no matter what, you can start turn one in Feud uh, with Beth and Kofi. That makes him guaranteed turn one in Feud, regardless of perks. And uh, let's not even use Gooker. Let's go completely no move damage trainers. Uh, be the main reason I'm going to do this is um, a lot of people... I've heard say that they have to worry about the cascading too much. So we're going to make this take as long as we can on the guy with the most hit points. Just so, um, in fact, let's just not even use a trainer. We'll just not even use a trainer. Whatever. And uh, let's go out here against Fiend. And see how long, if we can keep this cycle going long enough. Uh, I'm going to do a little less than 300,000 a cycle. So it's going to take eight or nine cycles, probably eight. So um, the one MP pin bar move is ready every time. So you want to swipe into the five matches you make and it reloads it every time. So you're constantly, as long as you don't cascade, your pin bar stays even. And it is pretty easy to control the cascade. I will show you what I mean. Okay, so when you make a 5 match like this, we're swiping into the purple. So the purple is what becomes the wild card. If you watch, purple wild card. So you can predict what is going to happen. And by swiping, it reloads the 1 MP move. And we found a pretty good spot for greens. There's a yellow up there that's going to screw with stuff. Um, and you want to stay on an edge, so since there's a yellow there, let's go to this side um, for yellows. Again, the black should be the one that becomes the wild card. Now, it didn't that way, which is interesting. Not sure why it does that on that side, but it drops to the bottom, so we'll go with that. And on this side... Um, We'll just keep going with the green, and the purple will be the wild card. Interesting. I wonder why that is. I don't have that part figured out yet. Usually you can predict the wild card, so purple again. Now there we got unlucky with the cascade, but we still have tons of pin bar to work with. So nothing to get excited about. This card would be awesome as a titan killer. Yellows. So going this way, it was the bottom one. Not sure why it works that way, but it does. Uh, and I cascaded there. So that's two cascades. Wild card becomes the loot box. It's 
So he would be long dead with uh, move damage metal. Four or five at this point. Red becomes the wild card. Again, unlucky cascade. So you can see I've made uh, three cascades. We just keep right on going. Red's the wild card. Have to switch sides again. Looks like when you go the other way, when you swipe uh, this way, it uh, is the car the gem you don't touch. When you swipe the other way, it's the gem you do touch. Interesting. Okay, I learned something new as well. But still predictable. And we're back to this side with the green. Blue's going to be the wild card. Blue's going to be the wild card again. And we just keep right on chugging. Another blue wild card. Almost there. Have to go this side for the yellow. Actually, we can't because there's a yellow up top. Um, although, let's take a look. We can probably do this. Yeah, we can do this. Since swiping the other way, we found out it goes to the bottom. Just like that. Bam. There you guys go. 2.13 million health, a bunch of cycles, I took all the move damage trainers off, uh, completely perk proof in feud uh, with Beth on, and uh, it would have been insanely faster, uh, obviously with tier 5 medals. So, um, pretty awesome board control, uh, it, I like this card, it's a lot of fun, um, that's I think the most damage I've ever done on turn 1. 2.13 million. You can just keep this cycle going and going and going. Well, maybe I've done more with Zombie Triple H. I don't know. Anyway, uh, 2.13 million damage. Who knows how long I could have went. And that was getting unlucky Cascades as well. So you don't really need to worry about the, the Cascade portion of it. Um, they'll be dead long before, as long as you uh, set it up right. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Very interested to hear what you think. Um, and remember to like, subscribe, and share, as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and good luck out there.